Mr. Snyder here with another tutorial for the Grade 9 Orientation Trailer that we're editing together. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to make the titles, which are very important. The titles in this video will tell us what we're about to see. It sort of explains what the little mini story is that's going to be coming up. Remember, the mini stories are where the camera shots are right here right here, right here, and then before each one of those we have a title. You see there's another title there, another title here. So let me put the play bar back. And so what we want to do is create titles that gives the viewer a little bit of a heads up, hey this is what's coming next. Okay, so how do we get into the titler? Well the first thing I want you to do is double click your title bin. There should already be one on in your project bin. Double click it and I've created a sort of a uh, placeholder title one we're not going to use it I just wanted to have some content there for when you opened it up okay now we have to get into the titler how do we do that uh, there's two ways if you can remember this way title new title default still or if you can't remember how to get up there command T T for titles will get you into the new title dialog box. This is saying what's the resolution of your project. That's all technical stuff. The bottom line is our project is 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. 1920 by 1080. And often in a TV story, you'll hear 1080p television set. That's for 1080. The P does not stand for pixels, it's for progressive scan. That's a technical issue, I won't get into it, but just be aware, 1080p is not 1080 pixels, although it is 1080 pixels. Make sense? Probably not. Okay, so what's our first title going to be called? I'm going to give the title a name. This is not the content of the title. This is just a name to help us keep organized. So I'm going to call this Welcome Newbies. That's my little title for the arrival of the students. Okay, I could have said welcome to Castlebrook. Eh, a little less exciting. You'll probably come up with a much more exciting title than I just did. Okay, once you've given the title a name, click OK. Now what's happened? Look here. Is it's created that title which is currently blank, but it's given the title Welcome Newbies. So in the title now, hey look at this. Hey I don't want a title to go over her. I want it to be over the red. So the first thing you're going to have to do is move your play bar so it's over the background in which you want to add a title. And that goes for any kind of video you edit this year or in next year's, is that you always need to make sure whatever you're going to add a title over is what you're seeing in the background of your titler. Because it doesn't make sense to build a title if you don't know what it's going to look like over the background it's going to be over top of. Okay, so in this particular titler, what we're going to use is really just one tool. We're not going to use the shapes that you might have used in Photoshop. We're only going to use the type tool up here, the T. Click it. Now, what we do not want to do, especially in video production, is click and drag out a text box and then start typing. It makes this box very awkward to work with. It makes it very awkward to center things on the screen. Okay, so do not click and drag. Command Z to undo. Simply type tool selected, click, you get this little I-beam here and you're going to type in what you want to say. Now my title of my title is Welcome Newbies and actually the content's going to be the same. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Welcome Newbies. Okay, good. Now what do we think of that title, people? I think it's way too small. It's also kind of a formal looking font and I'll talk about that very briefly shortly. I'm going to click, I'm still in the type tool, click and drag across the words, the letter sorry, and you're now able to edit all of those words together. First thing I'm going to do is go up to where the properties up here for the text are and I'm going to click and drag left or right for scale. Look, if I drag to the right, the font gets bigger. If I drag to the left, it gets smaller. So I want it to be, I'm guessing right now, about that big maybe. Now it's way off the screen. So I can't really tell if it's too big or big enough or whatever. So what I'm going to do first is go to my selection tool, which allows me to select things. Now I have a bounding box around my text. I could drag it around and sort of guess at what center is and say, oh, I think that's centered. Or I could work smarter, not harder, and I could use the tools that are given to us. Look down here under center on the 
left here. I can vertically center it first and then horizontally center. Now I know this title is dead center on the screen and that's probably what we want. Okay, click off of it. You lose the bounding box. There you go. And that's what it's going to look like. Now, I'm going to click back on it again. And if you look, when I click on this title, that everything starts to come alive. Up here, I've got all the properties for the uh, text. I could change the font. This right now is uh, an Adobe. I can't even say the second word. Um, let's pick something. Let's pick Baghdad. There's a different font. Hey, I've picked a different so font, but look at the scale is different now. So I'd have to scale it down. I kind of like that font. I don't mind it at all. So maybe I'll use it. Once you've scaled something, don't forget, select it again using your selection tool. I'm not in the type tool. I'm in the selection tool. Center it vertically, center it horizontally. You're good to go. Now, let me click on the text again. You see the bounding box around the text. Look what happens on the right. You've got some settings here. Okay, you can use alignment things here if you do have two or three lines of text. You can center the lines of text over top of each other. But really, your title should only be two or three words at the most. So if you do have more than one line, use the center. But I can use left justify here because it's just one line. Everything's going to look nice and, nice and centered. When you select the text, you go over to your title properties here. And we're not going to play with too much of this. But uh, here's your font if you do want to change it. Say I don't like this font. I can click in the font family box and use my up and down arrow keys. And it will scroll through the fonts that are available on my system. I don't have to do the drop down box or anything. I don't have to know the name of the font. I can just keep going down until I find something I like. Now, I liked what I had before. So I'm going to say, you know what? They all kind of look the same. I'm going to go Command Z, see what happens. That didn't work, so what I'm going to do is just go, what was the name of it? Uh, tell you what, now i got to find it again. So Command A to select all of that. I'm going to go in here. i got to pick, how is that lower? Oh, that's awful. That's a script font. Um, let's pick, uh, let's just go with Arial for now. Okay. And now I have to resize it. I can do it actually down here too. Font size is here. Drag left and right. See that? I'm not distorting it. I'm just changing its scale. Okay, don't forget, worry about the other things right now. If you do have some issues with fonts, especially with letting it's called, which is the space between words, if you have multi-leveled fonts, then ask your teacher. You would do letting to bring the, the words closer or farther apart. Okay, now center it again. You always got to center it once you've moved things. Let's go down the list of title properties. Fill type, the fill is the color of the text. Okay, I could change the fill to a ugly blue. Sorry. Double click. It's ugly blue. No good. You've got to have a light colored font against a dark colored background or a dark colored font against a light colored background. You've got to have contrast. And to be honest, when you're starting out, picking black or white or shades of black and white, so silvers and grays and things, is a good way to start because colors are very tough. So I'm going to click on my color chip again, and I'm just going to drag. And you look, white's on the bottom left, black's on the top right, and then you've got shades of silver in between. So light gray. I'm going to pick a light gray. There's my new color I've added. It's no longer blue. It's going to be silver. Click OK. Changes the color. That's good. I've got a light font on a dark brown background. Works great. Now, I do have some other properties here. I could add what's called a stroke to this text. Let me show you what a stroke is going to look like. Let me go to my selection tool. Okay, I'm going to add an outer stroke, and that's really an outline to the text. Not bad, but you know what? I'm not crazy about it. I think it takes away from the white, so I could make it bigger. Oh, look at that. That's super ugly. Or I could make it really small, like say three pixels, which is very fine and kind of uh, gives it a little something something without really taking over. But you know what? I'm going to just turn that off, turn outer stroke off. Okay. And I'm going to keep going down. Oh, shadow. I'm going to add a little bit of a drop shadow to my text just to give it a bit of dimension and sort of stand out a bit from the background. So I'm going to click on shadow. Hey, see that? I automatically get that drop shadow. And then I can 
click off of it to see there it is with no drop shadow there it is with drop shadow now you've got a whole bunch of settings for it I would suggest when you're starting out just leave that stuff alone um, don't get too carried away trying to be too fancy less is more be subtle be elegant don't be try to be crazy by having a multicolored text and all that I'm telling you it just won't work one other little tip you see these title styles here do not use them you learn nothing just clicking on a style that someone else has created in some kind of a laboratory somewhere don't use them you're gonna create your own styles here okay let me click off the text there we go I kinda of like that it stands out a bit looks good it's subtle um, so I'm gonna accept that I'm going to close my Tyler now you don't have to save it just close it BAM there you go it's now created my first title in my title bin and there we go but hey look what happened it's gone now here's what I suggest you do I've already done it but I'll undo it is I would lock the track with all your video on it and I'll tell you why because if you don't and you take your title and drag it now to the timeline and by accident you cut into one of your video clips it'll actually edit the video clip let me show you I'm gonna unlock it plus 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 I'm gonna just navigate over a little bit I'm going to take this title and I'm going to drag it. Oh, look how long it is. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it, say, and I meant to drop it up. Oh, I dropped it on the same track as my video. See that? Oh, well, I can fix that. Minus, minus. Watch this. I'll just drag it up. There we go. But the problem is I've actually edited this clip. I've actually lost one of the clips because I've covered it completely. So Command Z, Command Z. The clip comes back, lock that video track so you can't do that damage by accident. Take that title, click, drag, and drop it on top of video track two. Now, you're going to snap the beginning of the title to where that first marker is. See how there's, just like with the video clips, now you're snapping your title to that marker? Because you want this title, this text, to appear exactly at the same time as the red background. And then I'm going to take the end of the title and snap it to the end marker of the title. Okay, so when I play this now, this title is in a track above our video clips, which is locked, so I can't ruin that because that, that can create real headaches. I'm going to play this and I should see that the words come on at exactly the same time as the red background. Perfect. Perfect. What I don't want to see is this. I've... Uh, actually not lined up with the marker now I'm gonna see this title too early BAM oh see see what happened I see the words then I see the background no good that's kinda of like uh, amateur hour so snap to the marker where it starts and again if I took the ending and if I was above the video clip with my ending and my ending wasn't lined up properly what's that gonna do do you think Boom. The words are still there over the video. Kind of tacky, right? We don't want to do that. So we're going to snap the titles to fit within the area that it's supposed to fit within. And it's going to be on top of the red only. There we go. Pops in. Pops out at the same time. Good. That's title number one. Now, minus so I can zoom out on my timeline. Where's my next title? Oh, here it is over here. Tell you what, I'm going to go to the third title. Why? Because I want to use the title that I've copyrighted. Not actually, but I'm going to pretend I have. I want to make this third segment maybe the uh, lunchtime hot dog sequence. Okay, because it's a little bit longer and I've got more time to play and have some fun with people making their hot dogs and eating them and things. So this third title, again, this is nonlinear editing now. I don't have to do things in order. I'm going to add a title there. Now, how do I do it? Well, I could open up the titler again and re try to recreate this title so that even though the words will be different, the style will be exactly the same. But that's a whole lot of work. And you know what? You might get it wrong. What's the easy, smart way to do it? Again, we want to work smarter, not harder. Right click copy that title then go inside of your title bin right click paste it now you have a second instance of the same title okay double click that instance and it opens it up in the titler go to your text tool you're going to click and drag right across the text now and i'm going to use my patented copyrighted title for the lunch sequence hot diggity Dog. That's an old saying from a cartoon when I was a young kid. Hot diggity dog. 
Okay, and I'm going to center it like so. I think it can scale up a bit. I'm going to either scale it here or I could scale it up over here um, like so. Okay. Typically, if I'm just scaling, I just use that up there. Center, center, there we go. I say, yep, yeah, it's got the same style, the same drop shadow, the same color, the same font. Everything's the same. Close it, the titler, and hey, look it. It's updated the information in that second title. I do the same thing as I did the first time. You click on that title to select it. Click drag on video track three. Hey, look, it's, I'm going to move that play bar so you don't get confused. I'm going to zoom in just a bit. Well, maybe a bit too much. We'll see. No, you're good. Okay. Um, there's where the third title starts here. So I'm going to take the leading edge, the end point of my title, snap it to the starting point of my title, take the end. I'm going to trim the end, the out point and snap it. Oh, there we go. Snap it to the point at which the title ends. And now when I play this title on the timeline, it should be popping in those words, should be popping. Oh, look what I did. Did I? There we go. Hot diggity dog. But look, the title here name is uh, the same as before. So I'm going to just change that. Hot. Select it. Hot diggity. That's why I got confused. Dog. Okay. Change the name of the title to match the content. There. Now it'll be much better. Now I'm going to delete it. I'm going to click it. I'm going to drag it in. I'm going to do the same thing all again. See, you make mistakes. You just correct them. And then I'm going to snap it again. I get to show you a second time. So now this title, see, now it says hot diggity dog, not welcome again, because that's confusing. Okay. Play it. Bam. Pops in at the same time as a red. Bam. It disappears at exactly the same time. So I want you to add all the titles now to your project. Again, be creative with your words, because the best videos are creative with their words. They don't just say, we had lunch. We played games. Those are boring titles, and they won't get you much of a mark in the titling section of the rubric. Okay, so have fun with your titles. Create one style. Consistency is king. Do not use five different fonts, five different styles, and think that you're really trying to like really expand and, and use all kinds of different tools in the titler. Keep it consistent. That is professional. Picking all different kinds of wacky looks is not professional. It just confuses the viewer. Okay, have fun with it. Pick creative words. Use alliteration. I won't explain it in the tutorial here. Alliteration, use that if you can. Hot diggity dog is a little bit of an alliteration. And uh, have fun with the words.